in this video I'm gonna spill some tea on how to expand algebraic expression with power 2 or degree 2 using binomial formula Hey, I'm Miss Isha. Let's say we have A plus B square. Okay, so when you want to expand this, we will write it twice. So A plus B, and then we have one more over here A plus B. We're going to multiply this one multiply by this okay we will be getting a squared a times a equivalent to a squared and then we're going to multiply this and this so a times with b we're going to get positive a b all right and then we're going to times this and this for this we also will be getting positive a b because it's a times b then we will be having this one multiplied by this so plus b squared and then we solve this okay so a square a b and a b we can actually do the addition for them so it will become plus 2ab okay and then plus this one b squared this is actually the binomial formula so for the first question when you see 2x minus 7x we're going to make this one bracket become two brackets so for this one this multiplied by this 4x square this one multiplied by this okay 2x multiplied by negative 7 we will get negative 14x so minus 14x 7 multiplied by 2x so again negative 14x okay negative 7 multiplied by negative 7 so negative and negative we're going to get positive right so it's going to be positive 49 it has the same term 14x negative 14 minus negative 14 you owe 14 dollar and then you owe again 14 dollars it's going to be owing 28 dollar right so it's minus 28 of course you already know all that why am I even explain? For those who want to know integer, uh, more specifically, you can let me know down below. I will do a separate video for that. So we have 4x squared. So this one negative 14 minus another 14. We're going to have negative 28x. Alright. And then plus 49. There you have it. This is the normal way. Now, let's do the same question, but with using the binomial formula right away. All right? Okay, if, if I use the binomial formula, first is a squared. So, a squared, this one, 2x squared. 2x squared is actually 4x squared. And then we have plus 2ab, right? So, plus... 2 times 2 times negative 7. Okay, 2 times 2 times negative 7. You're going to get negative. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So negative 28x. Because 2 times 2x times negative 7. Okay, and then negative 7. And then we have plus b squared over there. So, b squared over here is negative 7 squared in the bracket. Negative 7 in the bracket squared. You will get positive 49. See? That's it. By just one line. You want to save space and save time. 
now let's take a look at another question 5y plus 1 squared by the way guys you have to know i will be posting every monday wednesday and friday so if you guys don't want to get missed out on any new videos regarding mathematics do subscribe okay and ring the bell to be notified okay all right first step of course i will make the two bracket okay 5y times 5y which is we have 25y squared 5y times 1 which is positive 5 1 times 5y which would be 5 1 and then this times this plus 1 squared this times this and then this times this and then this times this and then this times this so remember the pattern if you want to do the normal way sometimes in your exam since you are just learning about these methods you are required to do the long way the normal way okay before you can right away use a binomial so take note you cannot straight away jump to memorizing the binomial but remember the binomial because when the question get complex then that one will come very handy because you don't want to do this inside a complex question it's gonna take you forever right so no, we have 25y square these two we can add 5 plus 5 so positive then 1 right and then i have 1 square or i can straight away write 1 because 1 square is equivalent to 1 so there you have it this is a normal way okay now i want to use a binomial uh, formula straight away 5y squared 5y squared it is 25y squared so i will say 25y squared all right and then 2 times this you can you can just remember like this 2 this 2 times this is actually 2ab but you can remember as 2 times this times this okay so 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 1 is So I have 10 one okay okay just a one uh, one tips if you're positive this one gonna be positive if you're negative you're gonna be negative the first sign the second sign will always be positive that is just a tips okay so this one one square so one see you get the same answer by just one line okay now let's take a look at this problem solving question over here the question is find the area of a square with length x minus 4 centimeter so first we can transfer this information to a diagram so i have a square we will have a square square is first of all we have to know that square have same length for each side all right so here gonna be x minus 4 x minus 4 so area when we talk about area area for square is what length times height right this times this in other words since they are having the same value it's actually x minus 4 square right that's all and if you already remember the binomial formula you can straight away get the answer by just one line okay so let's do the binomial we so x square first of all a square so this is a a square so you're going to have x square then 2 times x which is 2ab so 2 times x times negative 4 so negative 8x right and then negative 4 square positive 60 that's it and you can also put a unit so of course this one gonna be centimeter square for area okay so question of the day what are the next topic that you want me to cover all right do let me know down below if you gain something even just a little bit from this video 
please do like this video okay